So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And one of the most anticipated 4x4s is now on my channel. This is the all new 2024 Jetur T2. We get LED lights all around. I really love the face of this. It gives a very nice distinction. And on the side profile, yes, it's the rugged SUV look. And at the rear, your usual, you get your spare tire in the back. And I love here on my side at the back, you get a storage compartment. So pairing this thing is a 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder engine that produces 251 horsepower and 319 newton meters of torque but unique to this uh, Jetur T2 this one is mated to a 7 speed wet type dual clutch transmission and the ground clearance surprisingly is not that high at 180 millimeters there is a good reason why uh, it's only low because this thing tends to be more like a, of a crossover rather than a 4x4 vehicle however still you still get off-road modes here in the middle so this is all of your drive mode settings along with a Twitter button just kidding <laughs> and more uh, safety amenities here and a complete rugged look here in the interior I love it so here in the door card a lot of squeegee alcantara material with uh, red stitching all around really hit some plastic only located here just down below instrument cluster is squared out but it's a little bit bigger than the jet or dashing so everything is still readable and here you get a massive infotainment system equipped only with Apple CarPlay that's all I can see here and your 360 degree camera is pretty alright too there's a 2D mode, 3D mode, very responsive among one of the better Jetour uh, systems I've tried out. Steering wheel, okay, looks the same, pretty squared out. This looks like SF Special Forces, but it's more of a Jetour T symbol. And surprisingly, for this uh, T2, you get paddle shifters all around. And here, the seats are my favorite. You get again red stitching all around yet again. At the rear, too, there's a lot more amenities like air conditioning vents, two cup holders, map pockets, and again, more leather at the rear seats itself. The space there is immense I mean it's pretty given in this class of vehicle but surprise for this T2 you get a completely flat floor another unique feature too with this Jetur T2 you can tumble the seat all the way forward so you can have a completely flat floor so hopefully we'll get a land out or test full test dive of this uh, coming soon on my channel and I could say already I know why a lot of influencers and vloggers like me want to buy this shout out to I know you I know you want to buy this <laughs> please buy this immediately this is so good here let's go for a drive I don't even know what mode I am so I have to disengage oh the electronic parking brakes here all right on the left side all right not to my surprise okay the steering is pretty light and uh let's see the driving modes here oh there's rock mode eco normal sport snow no idea why I need that mud and rock and going back to rock mode okay Right, so at least you have the off-road modes just in case and so far so good with the wet type dual clutch transmission and like what I said earlier too, wait, as well you have the 10 telescopic, uh, the ground clearance is somewhat low because it, this is intended to be driven like more of a crossover even though you have off-road capabilities and just here only around here in the car park of the UAG performance center, yeah, uh, just driving here seems pretty alright too and here a hum. Whoa, you don't feel it that much. And I would say the NVH of this is among one of the better jet tours I've tried out to. And you can feel a bit of body oil. Again, that's given. However, it's not as much as I anticipated in this rugged 4x4 segment. And wow, this wet type tool clutch is pretty okay. It's not as, being honest, only as well, sudden as the jet tour dashing, the non hybrid, by the way. Like 4x4 mode is always active if not mistaken. Just flow it a bit. Ooh. Like brakes, a little bit mushy, but again, I don't mind it. And yeah, go a bit faster. <laughs> oh. Okay, handling for a big vehicle. Yeah, pretty alright too. And again, you have, need a lot of stain input uh, once you turn this vehicle, which is pretty much the same too, like with the dashing but let's see on how the dashing behave will dive soon by the way but not today however as a first dive impressions yeah this seems pretty good and the NVH again there's loud motorcycles here around World Trade Center pretty all right too I gotta say and then here from a stun steel and then let's put it auto hold and then go to D Alright, the transition if, of it is pretty smooth too. And I like this uh, rumble of this uh, 2 liter 
turbocharge four cylinder engine. Of course, I will mention the competitors soon on my channel, which will come the day after this uh, upload. I think this is the benchmark tip uh, of the 4x4 segment in this class now. And for the cost of all of these two, this one is at 2,498,000 pesos. So I kind of understand now why a lot of people want to buy this. It's fully packed, jump pack, uh, 4x4 capabilities. And oh yeah, let's see how much. Oh, that's the radio. Ah! So I cannot see the fuel economy reading. I think it's somewhere buried here in the infotainment system. So again, we will find that out soon once we uh, get a full test dive slash uh, land out review of this. So yeah, that concludes my quick dive of this Jetour T2. I'd like to thank everyone here at Jetour Auto Philippines and to Miss Liza Bolina of Jetour Auto uh, Centis, aka my suke. So check them out and hopefully they will have test dives of this and please check it out. This is one of the better ones I've tried out. So hope you guys like and subscribe and I will see you with more vehicles here coming up here at the Manila International Auto Show. Bye-bye.